Hey there, it's Elise. Today I am going to be sharing with you a personal story and also some tips and techniques on how to cure a UTI without using antibiotics. So anyone who doesn't know what UTI stands for, a UTI is a urinary tract infection. It's something that females can get from a variety of different reasons. Uh, one is if they are having intercourse with a partner who is not super clean or perhaps the female is not super clean. And uh, one way that this could happen is from wiping the wrong way. So if you're not wiping your buttocks before wiping the front side. Um, and yeah, another is if your partner's genitals are just not super clean, if they haven't showered recently. Um, if they're kind of like sweaty and clammy down there and just have bacteria growing that they don't know about. Um, so being clean is really important to prevent UTIs from taking place. Uh, another thing that could cause a UTI is if you don't urinate after having sex. So when you urinate, you kind of flush out any possible bacteria that has gotten up inside of your vagina. Um, another thing is wearing very tight clothing to that area of your body. So having more baggy clothing is just more beneficial to keep that area circulated, get air in there, and just not have it all tight and warm and a place for bacteria to grow. Uh, there are some other ways you can get UTIs too and other things that contribute to getting UTIs like being dehydrated, uh, being stressed, not getting enough sleep, and some people are also genetically predispositioned to having more frequent UTIs or worse UTIs that last longer. So today I'm going to share with you my personal story of how I got a UTI and how I cured it naturally. So I just want to say I have had UTIs in the past a few years ago. I used to get them pretty often um, and I do know why I got them pretty often. Uh, they were from some of the reasons that I shared earlier with you. So. If you listen to those reasons, be sure that you're just super cautious and doing everything in your favor to not have a UTI taking place. So I used to get them and I also had a UTI lead to a kidney infection, which was one of the most painful things of my entire life. That was about three years ago, I want to say. And I did have to get two shots in my buttocks of antibiotics and had to take antibiotics for forget how many days, I think seven or ten days. And that was not good. So I hope that the information I share with you today is going to be applied by many, many people who are watching this video. And hopefully I can prevent some people from having really killer UTIs and even possibly having kidney infections. So my personal story is I got a UTI recently the day that I was leaving Hawaii to go to the UK Fruit Festival in England. Altogether, my traveling took um, 28 hours. So I was pretty dehydrated throughout that process. And normally, uh, if I were to get a UTI, I would just stay super, super hydrated. And that really helps me get over them quicker. And I wasn't really given the opportunity to do that because no matter how much water you're drinking or how much fruit you're eating when you're traveling, you're going to be a little more dehydrated than normal. So my body didn't really have the opportunity to heal that UTI uh, because of how dehydrated I was. So I arrived at the UK Fruit Festival in England and I thought, okay, like this should go away soon because as long as I eat fruit and drink some water and some coconut water, it'll go away. My body will heal itself. Well, that wasn't totally the case, and I think it's really attributed to how insanely dehydrated I was from that whole traveling process. So I ended up having a UTI, pretty steady symptoms. They weren't like totally increasing the whole way, but I had a UTI for seven days before I decided to take further action. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know what the symptoms of a UTI are, I'm sure they vary per individual, but my personal symptoms were very, very frequent uh, needing to pee. So I had to pee all the time. I would be in a conversation with someone and would just have to pee immediately, like run to the bathroom type of pee. It wasn't like, oh, I think I have to go to the bathroom soon. It was like, no, I have to go right now. So that was frustrating. That's one symptom. Uh, another is a burning sensation, either while you're urinating or right afterwards. So I had a really intense burning sensation afterwards to the point where I would just hold my stomach and 
like really have to breathe deeply because it was so, so painful and uncomfortable. And I also had a low stomach ache and the very uh, bottom part of my stomach was kind of bloated and just felt like Felt like I wasn't digesting something properly, but it was just really painful down there. Um, those were pretty much my symptoms that I had. And I would wake up in the night and just have to go to the bathroom and it would be very painful. So it was an issue and I had to address it. So naturally, I felt like my body wanted to drink a lot of water. I felt like I needed to just be hydrated and flush this thing out of my body once and for all. So I started drinking a lot of coconut water. I drank coconut water for a full day and I, I contacted somebody who was um, at the festival who I felt would be able to help me with this because I didn't have a car over there so I didn't have a way of just driving myself to the store and getting coconut water or water. So I had somebody help me out, luckily they were super super kind and understanding about it and did take it seriously and this is something you have to take seriously because if the infection travels up to your kidneys it can be deadly, it can be fatal. Yeah, I ended up uh, drinking coconut water for a full day and just tried to flush it out and the symptoms were so much better when I was drinking a lot of coconut water. In the mornings I would wake up and it would be a little bit more painful because during the night I'm not drinking coconut water so I was more dehydrated. So I ended up talking to Dr. Doug Graham. Anyone who doesn't know who that is, he wrote the book The 80-10-10 Diet and he has been helping individuals with fasting through his fasting retreats for numerous years and he helps people go on extended water fasts which can be up to 30 days or so and before you kind of click the x and you, you think this is absolutely crazy i invite you to open your eyes and just listen to what i have to say here because this is some pretty crazy and powerful information so he helps people heal pretty radical diseases um I'm not going to give a list of them, but I will link some information down below so you can further check out um, that information. So I shared my condition with him and I told him that I was drinking coconut water and he said immediately, like I've helped over a hundred girls with this issue and normally with just an 18 hour water fast, the symptoms are completely gone. And he said that he recommends up to 60 hours of water fasting, which means just hydrating yourself with fresh clean water. Um, he recommends that long if it is still bothering you at like 24 hours or 36 hours or 48 hours to wait until it's completely done bothering you until you have absolutely no symptoms and then continue for 12 or so hours after that just drinking water to be sure to completely ensure that it is gone out of your body. So I was pretty desperate at this chance desperate at this time to try anything and I had already been drinking coconut water and I noticed the improvement in my symptoms so I figured yeah that makes sense I should just drink water and my symptoms will be better but I didn't totally get it so I asked him I said well what if I just drink coconut water instead of water like what would the difference be and he said because there's glucose in the coconut water it's not going to I'm not going to heal my body at as fast as a rate if I were to just drink water so I embarked on a water fast journey and it was not nearly as long as some people go. Some people go for a full month of just drinking water to heal specific things in their bodies. Again, I'm not going to go into detail about that, but just know that this is a powerful thing. So I started drinking water and my symptoms started going away very, very, very quickly. And the first day that I drank water, I felt no different at all. I actually exercised for over an hour that morning and I felt really good. I felt energized. I didn't feel groggy or tired or fatigued or anything. Um, I felt good. And the next day, uh, towards the middle of the second day, I started to feel a little tired and started to feel like I was kind of in a dreamlike state. I was there but not totally there. And then the third day, I experienced those symptoms a little bit more. I just felt really tired, like I just wanted to kind of lay down the entire day and not really engage in too much conversation, definitely not exercise on that third day. I just wanted to lay back and kind of wait for my symptoms to completely go away. So it was the fourth morning that I woke up, so I drank water for three full days after a day of coconut water. And I, the evening before the fourth day, 
I knew that the next day was going to be the day that I broke my fast because I wasn't experiencing any symptoms at that time. So I could have eaten that evening, but I knew that I should wait the full extra night, so at least 12 more hours to just totally be sure that my symptoms were gone and that the infection was out of my body. So I woke up in on the next morning, on the fourth morning, and I ate watermelon and ate some other fruit throughout the day. And by the evening time, I was just eating regularly. I didn't really slowly introduce food back into my diet, I guess because it was not too long of a fast. I didn't feel it was necessary. Um, I was so eager to get food back in my body and get exercising again. I actually went and did squats with uh, Doug Graham and Chris Kendall and a couple of other people that evening that I broke my fast and I almost pro broke a personal record, uh, which was pretty cool. So um, I just want to let you know that fasting, especially for three days, is not dangerous for your body. It can be very beneficial and this is an alternative alternative way to heal your body from a urinary tract infection. I used to turn to antibiotics and it felt so empowering and amazing to not have to fill my body with things that I'm not totally in favor of uh, for this issue to clear up. It felt really good to just let my body heal itself and I guess that's the underlying message that I want to share with you today that your body has amazing healing capabilities. I'm not saying that if you break a leg or if you have a kidney infection that you should just let your body rest and heal itself. You've got to be knowledgeable and talk with people who are knowledgeable about these topics. Don't try and just do things on your own without doing research or speaking to multiple people who have done this before. Uh, I didn't jump into this just listening to myself and to Doug Graham. I have heard that this is possible from many other people before and I did my research as well. So just be smart about what you're doing and um, yeah, give it a shot. If you ever experience a UTI, of course the first thing would do would be to prevent a UTI from happening um, by staying clean. Make sure that your partner is clean before having intercourse. Don't wear super tight clothing all the time. Give yourself room to breathe down there. Uh, stay hydrated. Take care of yourself in general. Don't be stressed. Um, and yeah, but if you do end up having a UTI and you don't want to turn to antibiotics, if you don't want to put a drug inside of your body, there is another way to go about it. I also want to touch upon hunger because I'm sure I'm going to get tons of comments about this. Well, weren't you hungry? Weren't you starving? How did you do that? Didn't it feel like you were dying? No, it really didn't. Um, hunger came and went throughout the entire three days. There was not one point where I felt pain, hunger pain in my body. And I didn't experience headaches at all either because I was very hydrated. So um, I know that everybody's body is different, so it's possible you will, ex excuse me, it's possible you will experience hunger pains or headaches um, or even um, acne might show up if you're detoxing from a three day or four day water fast, depending on how long you're doing it for, how toxic your body is. Um, but I did not experience killer hunger pains. I felt hungry for a moment or two and then it would fade away and then I would feel hungry for a moment or two and then it would fade away. And in those moments that I felt hungry, I just drank a little bit more water. And um, for anyone who comments below, because I know this might pop up, uh, that's a form of starving yourself, that's a form of an eating disorder. It's not if you are in a healthy mindset. Um, I did this to heal my body so that I didn't have to put antibiotics into my body and screw things up. Um, so yeah, that is my story for you today. I hope that this has helped you in one way or another. Um, if you have a UTI right now or when you watch this video you have one or you have one in the future, please don't hesitate to reach out to somebody that you feel can just give you a little bit more information on this topic. Of course do research on your own but don't hesitate to reach out to me or reach out to anybody that you feel will have a little bit more knowledge on this water fasting topic. Um, I want you to be safe and yeah, that's really important to me is your safety and your understanding of the topic. So I just gave you a brief overview of my experience, what I did to heal myself, but I know that there's more information to be shared. Um, 
So if you feel you need that, I'm going to try and get some links together to share with you down in the description below. You can check those out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are ready to heal your UTIs naturally, give this video a thumbs up. Share this with anyone you feel it will be helpful for. I really want to get this information out there and spread it to everybody. So uh, subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you have any video suggestions, feel free to share those down in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Bye. But today I'm going to share with you today. La, 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 la.